How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we have a new update to look at. What I'm going to start doing every month is actually playing the updates that we get, showcasing all the features and explaining how everything works. Before we get into today's video, I want to say something. In my last video, I said something at the beginning that I never ever usually say, and I said it and it's actually helped me out a ton. So in today's video, I'm going to say it again. If you are new around here, please just consider subscribing. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe, but we are so close to 100,000 subscribers and we'll we hit it we're going to do the 2000 mile world record race so if you know around here and you're not subscribed please consider it i do lots of forza content keeping you all up to date and we are very close to 100k guys i'm so looking forward to it anyway let's get on with today's video right all good and sound we are up to date let's launch forza horizon 4 and experience a new update oh that rhymed ha oh what i just did that update what well, looks like I've got to do the update twice, all right? Right, so we're finally loading into the game, and I'm just trying to picture in my head what stuff we have to quickly look at today. We've got, we've got the car pack to look at. I've heard some of those are really good uh, drag cars. We've got the drift camera, the drift adventure, online adventure changes, if we want to have a look at that. We've got a fair bit to look at. So what I think we'll do, we'll jump in straight in one of the DLC cars. Here it is. So I believe I heard that these have come from... Ooh, wow. These have come from Forza Motorsport, so I think we've got, we've got to jump in the double down. Look at that beast. If we jump in this, we'll make it sort of a drag car, but we can still experience the new drift camera in the process. So this is one of the new cars. I'm going to try and explain the best I can in this video how all the new features work if anyone's struggling with them. So obviously the car pack is available for free for all car pass owners through here, but if you don't have a car pass, you're obviously going to need to buy it. Now let's quickly just see how much horsepower we can put in this thing. It's already all-wheel drive. Okay. Wow. That puts it up to 1,000 horsepower. 1,805 horsepower? What? Wow. Well, this is definitely the car we're going to play around with here. Holy cow. That's got some good acceleration to it. Anyway, so these are the new, obviously, DLC cars that you can get. This is probably the one with the most horsepower. I'm going to take a guess. So you can turn the cockpit camera on and off. I'm just going to quickly explain what these three um, settings can do. The top one is the sensitivity. So if you increase this, it will become more sensitive. So if, you, if you're drifting about going left to right, it will be... It will be more sensitive, so it will make the angles more, but it may not look as smooth. So I recommend keeping this in the middle because you don't need it to be so sensitive. The look camera speed, this is how fast the camera will move. So let's say you go from a left hand drift to a right hand drift. Um, the higher this is, the faster it will go from left to right. So you don't want it to be too high or it may look a bit snappy and a bit too fast. But if you keep it kind of in the low, kind of mid-range, it'll look smooth and it'll it'll follow your angles smoothly instead of looking too fast. If you like it fast, then move it up. Now for the last one, the range, the smaller this is, the more you can, the more angle you have to get for the camera to move. So on 100, you can just drift around normally and the camera will follow you quite nicely. But the less you put it, the more angle you have to get for the drift camera to actually activate. If you put this down to zero, the drift camera kind of just turns itself off because you have to get a massive angle for the drift camera to come in action. So if you only want the drift camera to work when you're at big, big angles, put this down a little bit. So those are the settings for the drift camera. Um, I've got mine on stock and you can see it's working nicely left to right. It's not going left to right too fast as you can see. Oh my God, this thing's fast. I'm not really in the right car to be doing this with, but... It's quite nice because I actually used to use the analog stick to do make my own drift camera. Um, it's nice not to have to do that anymore. It is a bit strange in a, uh, a car like this, but yeah, drift camera, it works. It's quite cool. I'm not much of a drifter myself. It is pretty damn cool. Now, while it's raining in the overworld world, let's quickly go back to the auto show and look at some of the new auto show features we have. So I believe if we go to apply vinyls, if that's okay, so this is one of the new features for the, the paint editor. Let me get, let's get a bunch of stars, I reckon. Bunch of green stars, we'll stamp one there. There's a new option where if you go down to apply a mask shape, and then let's get, ooh, what should we get? Let's get the letter P, the penis. 
and if we move that size you can see that it will cut through all of the layers to the bodywork which is pretty cool so if I want to keep that shape in the background I can as you can see it just cuts through all of the layers and if I grab a layer and start moving it around I, I just physically cannot put any stickers on that letter P unless I move unless I move the shape in front of the P and then it goes over it so yeah that is pretty damn cool I can make it bigger it will still mask through that is awesome Oh look, I've got a little bullet shape there. Yeah, you could be able to make some new shapes with this as well. Awesome. I think it's only appropriate if we just quickly try out the new drift adventure so I can explain how that works even more. Now I am not very good at drifting at all, so I'm probably gonna lose. So let's go to drift adventure. And good, I don't want to do ranked, that's good. Right, I'm finally loading into a drift adventure now, finally. I'm probably gonna be terrible at it and I'll probably spend most of my time not drifting so I can actually talk. Driving and talking is one thing, but drifting and talking, impossible. Right, here we go. I'm going to really struggle to do this, but I'm going to try my best anyway. I mean, it says the objective in the bottom right, earn the highest drift score possible in a single lap. So I could only do one lap if I wanted. As long as I get a ton of drift score in this one lap, I will win. And there's no collisions, look. Oh, that's brilliant to see. Right, let me try my best here. Stay back a bit. Oh, someone's in the... I've already gone off course. Pfft. I forgot that people can be in the Vipers and the Mustangs. Oh, I need to slow down to get this angle right here. There we go. That was all right. For me, anyway. I should probably be doing this on manual, to be honest, because this is quite difficult. On I'm in second place, though. I have no idea how I'm in second place. There we go. Keep this going. Oh, this next corner will be good. Yes! Move it around that way. I'm quite far in front though, which is annoying. That can be seen as a bad thing. But... Keep it going around there. Nice. And then go around here. Nice. Around here. Beautiful. That uh, guy in first place is doing nicely, but he's obviously a lot better than me. Oh, messed up that one though, didn't I? Okay, so as you can see, in one lap I've got 386,000 and that's going to reset now and now that's my high score. So now I need to try and get a lap that will beat that. It doesn't add up, I just need to beat 386,000. If that makes sense. At the moment I have the second best lap, which um, I'm actually still quite surprised about because I am honestly terrible at drifting. So yeah, I'm not going to do any more, but that's how it works. As you can see, there's no collision. You're just free to do the laps by yourself to get as many scores as possible. It seems like I may, I may stay second place here. Oh, I've crashed again. I'm so bad at this. But you can see what I mean. I'm going to leave it now. But you've got the gist of ideas. So I would come second in that drift adventure, and then you've got the other two events to go. It's a total of three events. Not sure if there's many new features that can actually showcase now because uh, lots of the new cars and the, the new stuff's all in the festival playlist which we don't have yet that will come on Thursday but we've had a look at the DLC cars, the drift camera, the drift adventure, the new sticker thing online adventure has some changes as well doesn't it but we don't need to look at those such as free roam rush being removed uh, no collisions for the first 30 second of races that's pretty cool so yeah this is one of the other DLC cars what engines can you put in it the DLC cars are actually kind of cool to be honest that other 1800 horsepower one I might do a video on that see if we can experiment around it make a, make a drag tune for it and uh, stuff like that because that could be one of the one of the new top contenders in the uh, the half mile drag so yeah guys as i said we are so close to 100k so thank you all for that but yeah definitely get on because this new update has been released now it was released yesterday i think but i thought i'd do a video on it anyway and show you everything i really like the drift camera the dlc cars are cool especially that 1800 horsepower one and uh, drift adventure is also awesome as well i might start to get into drifting now god this car is so odd but anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Foot to Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.